Hello, this is Paul from quickandmobile.com, and today we're going to be doing a 2021 review of the Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair. I'll give you a bit of an opportunity to go ahead and pause the video so you can write down where to find us online before we get into things. Okay, that moment has passed. Uh, as you can see, we have a, a few things laid out, so we're going to go over a lot of different updates on the Eagle, specifications, capabilities, what the chair can do, what the chair can't do, and how the chair functions, of course. So to begin with, a lot of people wonder how the actual footprint of the chair is. Now folded up, we've got two batteries in, the chair weighs 58 pounds, and it is an FDA approved medical device, FAA approved for travel. Of course, we've got a couple other chairs that we're going to show you some of the different features, uh, but mainly we're talking about the Eagle. Now the Eagle, as you can see right here with the seat cushion, it is it has a depth of 18 inches and it has a height folded up of, I'm going to have to look at the cheat sheet, I think it is I think it's 30 and a half inches and that's going to be the top of the battery to the actual ground now i'm going to give a, an opportunity a little bit later on to to look at these sheets and if we're looking at the joystick to the ground we have a 36 inch uh, clearance or 30 36 inches of height and before i take the chair out of the folded position we see that you have the ability to actually plug the charger in that you see over there into the joystick, which would charge both batteries. The chair comes from, with both batteries. Um, we give you one free, so one is from the factory, and instead of having a blank on the other side, we actually give you a free battery, lithium-ion batteries, FAA travel approved. And of course, we have a port where the little pigtail attachment that you see right there plugs right into and allows you to take the batteries out of the chair and charge each battery individually. And the chair has a width of 23 and a half inches. So with one hand, I'm just going to go ahead and unfold the chair and we'll take a look at some of the different features that this chair has. So we'll get the footrest down here. Now, a few of the things that people ask, yes, it is a, a power folding wheelchair. And people ask a lot of the time if it goes into freewheel. Yes, the chair absolutely does go into freewheel, so you can use it as a manual chair. And you can see that the chair really is very simple to use, very simple to maneuver. In fact, just just for demonstration purposes, this is probably about an eight inch drop. And this would work from basically as, as much as a, a 12 inch drop. If you're maneuvering the chair without a person in it and you wanna kinda of go up and down ledges, it's very easy just to back the chair up and kinda of pull the chair over a threshold or go ahead and let the chair just gently wheel down a threshold. Now, keep in mind, 58 pounds is 58 pounds. So I'm, I'm not making any uh, illusions that anybody in the world's just gonna be able to use this chair easy, no problem. Now, let's go over a few of the different features here. The chair actually has, it comes factory upgrade with the polyurethane solid wheels. Now these wheels, as you can see, we can, we can go outside. I've, I've made plenty of videos with these chairs outside and I would encourage you to take this opportunity to press the subscribe button uh, because we do have a lot more videos that we make on a routine basis and just makes it easy to kind of find our channel because we've made a lot of videos as well. So any questions that I may not answer about this question or about this chair, you can find most likely in, in other videos on, on our channel. So if we take a look actually at the tread, you can see a little bit better here. We have an enhanced grip tread. And of course you kind of see that the tread is not making any skid marks on the ground. And I'm going to put the chair into power mode. So you see the chair is locked. 
I'm gonna kind of push the chair forward. You see how the, the wheels are with enough force to skidding forward and you don't see any any dirt marks on, on the ground. So that's a, a big deal for people. And while I'm down here, we'll, we'll take the opportunity to point out a few things about the actual back of the chair. Now, we have a width of 23 and a half inches. We have fenders. It is a weather resistant chair. So basically you can go in a puddle, but just, just make certain that you don't go deeper than the brushless electromagnetic motors. Very important uh, a note about the, the brushless electromagnetic motors. There's of course two motors, 250 watts each, and they do come with a reflective decal on either side. And for driving at nighttime, light safety as well, on the, on the front of the caster, there's a reflective decal. So the, the chair does give you a lot of visibility options. You can see you've got four bolts. You can take the wheel off or you've got basically four bolts here. You can take the, the actual motors off uh, to change the motor. So the chair, the chair if, if ever was need be, is exceptionally simple to work on. So unlike some of the big heavy chairs that you have to take into a DME dealer and, and get dinged with a bill that's a, a few hundred dollars, if, if something ever were to happen with the chair, that the two-year warranty did not cover. It's so simple to work on these chairs. But anyway, you see that we have two 250-watt um, motors. They're brushless electromagnetic motors. Now, if you're in the market for a chair and thinking about getting a chair, one thing that I really will point out about these motors that's exceptionally important, there's brushed and there's brushless electromagnetic motors. Brushed there's a little brush that basically consistently makes contact with parts in the motor to conduct the electricity. Now, that's what's called an inherent device. It's, it's built to break down. It'll eventually break and it'll eventually need to be replaced. And some motors are very difficult to work on and to replace, unlike the motors in this chair. So that's just something to keep in mind. Brushless electromagnetic motors, very important to remember, are virtually maintenance free. And very simple, just to flip of the switch, we can go from a power chair to a manual chair. It's a power chair right now when it's locked, manual chair when it's unlocked. And one of the upgrades that we've made, I'll, I'll kind of turn the chair sideways so we can see it a little bit better. We have the Dura shocking system here, and that is designed to help absorb energy from the ground into the frame so it doesn't transfer to the actual driver or the person sitting in the chair itself. So sideways view, Eagle Power folding wheelchair. And we can kind of see right under here, we have the, the computer system of the chair, very, very simple to, to locate. And of course that's uh, under the seat. Um, take a look here as, as I was demonstrating. We have the clamp right there, new kind of clothespin style clamp that would allow you to more easily let the chair kind of snap open. And to close the chair, I'm just going to demonstrate, even just using one hand, how simple this is. Just have to hold this clamp open, give the chair a little bit of a push on the top of the chair. And it's so easy just to let the chair kind of collapse right there. I've made other videos. If you subscribe to the channel, you can easily find them. And to use the footrest to kind of pull the chair up, and it has its own kickstand. Very convenient if you wanted just to grab the chair and kind of walk around or pull, pull the chair behind you if you're going through an airport or whatnot. Okay, it's a little bit shaky with one hand, so I'm just going to kind of stabilize it and kind of get back to the chair. A few things that people ask me are about the anti-tip wheels or lack of quote-unquote anti-tip wheels, which are just a gimmick. We'll get into that in a little bit, but I want to point out some more features before I go into everything else. The joystick can be mounted to the right side or the left side. From the factory, it's on the right side. It has a very easy little buckle to detach the joystick itself. The seat cushion itself, now 
We've got 19, well, we have 18 and a half inches of space in between the armrests of the Eagle, and the cushion is an 18 inch cushion. And it's a memory foam cushion, and it has a breathable, washable fabric. It's a, a mesh fabric, so it's not going to bake you and boil you in the summertime. And of course, not getting baked and boiled means that it's easier to clean and it's, it's going to smell better longer. And of course, we have the, the same thing for the back. Now, if we take a look here, I know this is the Electra 7. We're not making a video about the Electra 7 right now. But the point is, we, we don't have the actual cushion on the, on the chair. So the Eagle, it's the same thing, totally adjustable. What I mean by that is you can adjust the, the firmness of the seat very easily. And of course, you could actually exchange that cushion for a different cushion. A lot of people like air-filled cushions and whatnot. And the back cushion, it's, it's the same thing. You have the ability to just undo the Velcro and make, make the cushion really as, as firm or as not firm as you want. And of course, you can lift the cushion up closer to the top of the chair. And it even has lumbar support. So some people don't want any lumbar support at all. That goes away. And some people want a lot of lumbar support. Some people just want enough to, to keep them comfortable in the chair. So there's a lot of components of adjustability with this chair. And it's rated at 400 pounds. I've made plenty of videos where I have a, a partner with me. And I've actually balanced on the armrest of the chair and supported my entire body weight. I'm six feet and just under 200 pounds. And the chair doesn't flinch. And of course we see that you have the fold up armrest. That's another feature that we've kind of given free from the factory. So we see that the armrests themselves can be elevated and that makes that makes pulling the chair up to the, the dinner table or a, a restaurant very simple. So nothing gets in the way. And of course the footrest folds up flush with the chair as well. Now, of course, both armrests fold up to the chair. So that gives you different side mount and dismount options and having a footrest that folds entirely flush to the chair makes the chair a lot more simple to use as well. Now keep in mind, I'm just showing you this video and I'm just using one hand. So to me, it's a very simple chair to work with. And if you are a caregiver, it's a simple chair. And if you're a chair user, it's a simple chair. We have people that have started their own YouTube channels that demonstrate the utility of how simple this chair is to actually use. It's 23 and a half inches wide, and let's, let's go back to the idea of a chair that has the quote-unquote anti-tip wheels. Now, we have a chair called the Airhawk that has small wheels that go in the back of the chair, and just as you saw me pull the chair with the footrest earlier on, that's the utility of those wheels. They're a kickstand and they allow you to pull the chair along when the chair is folded up. Now, the chairs that have these little wheels that are adjustable and they kind of slide out in the back, you've got to kind of keep in mind, you know, that, that encourages people to, to use the chair in ways that the chair is probably not designed to be used, to go up steep hills, to go up uneven areas. And in the event that there was a, a, a tip, that the chair actually went backwards, you've got to think that, that those wheels would actually, in, instead of the chair just tipping backwards, you would add another three or four inches of elevation. And you could create something that is considered safe by the, the FDA. The chair is considered safe by the FDA. And you would make that into basically what, what's designed as a gimmick not here, not on this chair. We don't, we don't do that on this chair, but those, the chairs that have those quote-unquote anti-tip wheels, they're gimmicks, and they would make the chair unstable and exceptionally dangerous in the event of a tipping backwards because that elevates, elevates the person up and creates a lot more leverage and a lot more force when the chair would actually drop down. I know that I said this was a 2021 review. I don't want this video to get too, too long. So I'm going to kind of start to wrap things up. I've made so many videos about the Eagle. The only real difference here 
with this model is that it has 18 and a half inches of space in between the armrest, not just under 19 inches of space in between the armrests. Very similar to the Falcon, which you see there. And a lot of people would ask, well, why, why, did, they, why did they change it? Well, we've got the Electra 7 that has just a fraction under 21 inches of space in between the armrests. And if we look over here, we've got the armrest spacer kit. Now, this armrest spacer kit, you've got four high quality aluminum spacers that basically will attach and give you an additional amount of space. So they kind of plug right in. I've made videos of attaching the spacer kit, so I'm not going to do it in this review video. And you take 18 and a half inches, you add three and a half inches by you know, two on one side, two on the other side. So you can actually decide how wide you want the chair. And you can kind of make it up to 22 inches of space in between the armrests. So that's a great feature for a lot of people. And another thing that people really like about the Eagle is that you do have, well, in the Falcon and the Electra 7 too, but we're going to make videos of these two chairs so you can subscribe to the channel and see them. You have an adjustable set of leg extensions that plugs right into the actual front caster of the chair. Now, while I'm down here, I encourage you to kind of look at the, the weld quality here. Very high quality of craftsmanship with these chairs. And those footrests, leg extension kit, goes right into that front kind of caster area. You can kind of see how that works right there. They're quick release. They just plug right into that hole. So they, they swing out, very easy to snap into place. And they're totally adjustable. I've got one basically pretty much at 90 degree angle. So if somebody had a, a leg surgery, you can see you've got different areas of adjustability. They swing out. Uh, this is, of course, not a video about leg extension review. There, there is videos that go in depth about the measurements there and they have the simple mechanism to allow you to adjust them to basically place them anywhere you want. You can kind of see how the footrest just folds up or you can kind of leave the footrest down if you want to. And they're, they're totally adjustable. So that's one unique feature. Another really unique feature that a lot of people really like is the, the joystick itself. And you can see on the Electra 7, we have something called the attendant controller bracket. You can mount the joystick to the back of the chair. So you can, an attendant can very easily use the chair. This has been great for taking grandma around the, the neighborhood. She absolutely loves to get outside and she's not so comfortable operating the chair on her own, but with an attendant controller bracket, we can take her outside for a walk and it, she absolutely loves it. And we're not kind of hunched over and pushing. So she gets to go on a, a long walk rather than a short walk. Uh, and then, of course, we have the headrest option as well. Now, the headrest, I've got, got the headrest. It has a couple brackets here that attaches right to the back of the chair. Completely adjustable. Same memory foam. Same breathable material. We've made specific videos just about the headrest, and, and this isn't one of those videos. So we're going to kind of move along. Um, point out another thing. Very nicely folded up seat belt that is comes with the chair, it's not attached to the chair. And the reason the seatbelt isn't attached to the chair is because some people want to attach the seatbelt higher up, some people want the seatbelt lower. So we give you that option. The seatbelt fits where you want the seatbelt to fit. And some people don't even want to use it around the back of the chair. Some people want the seatbelt to be used in conjunction with their legs. Now, if you notice the battery, well, you see the battery right there. And I pointed out when the chair was folded up the actual the actual batteries the placement of the batteries in the frame so convenient to have in frame batteries rather than batteries that a majority of these foldable chairs have that are underneath the chair what i consider to be the back breaker condition for the batteries or position why do you want to get on your hands and knees and fiddle around with batteries that basically make the chair a lot less accessible, a lot less user-friendly, and of course, a lot closer to elements and water um, when they're easy to basically have 
right in the middle of the frame. So this is one of the few chairs on the market, these three chairs, one of the few chairs on the market that is not only approved by the government, FDA approved, but has the in-frame location of the batteries. Just switch this chair into power mode real quick and we'll get actually into the chair. You can kind of get the idea that this is a pretty confined space. Joystick is so easy to use. We have a Sensi Touch joystick, which very simply means I'm going to turn, this is the on, this is the off, this is the battery indicator. So these lights just disappear as the battery basically kind of drains down. You've got a horn and you've got a speed indicator, one mile per hour all the way to four miles per hour. And if I turn the chair off, now the Sensi Touch joystick is, is great because if I, if I give it just a little bit of a nudge, it's going to, it's going to go very slow. I'm not going to give it the full amount of power. Or if I go full blast one direction, it's going to give the chair the, the full power. So if I, whether I have it on one, two, three, or four miles per hour, it's going to go full speed ahead. The chair's posi traction chair, exceptionally important to understand that. And basically, the Sensi Touch joystick allows you any range of motion. So you can go front, back, left, right, or any combination thereof very simply really with the touch of a finger and it's it's simple to decide how much force you want to have actually on the joystick when you're using the joystick i'm just going to do kind of a, a a quick circle here so it's on full speed you can kind of hear when i move the joystick it's going to disengage the electromagnetic brakes that click real quick is the electromagnetic brakes engaging and disengaging. So the chair stops when you take your finger off the joystick. Right. Very easy to just oops, go right into place. Now I'm in an exceptionally small area right here. I've got basically, a, I would say, a good 39-inch uh, radius here that I can just have the chair do a... I'm going to move this one back. You can see how easy these chairs are to move, by the way. Very simple to kind of move around here. And we'll just take a look really at the, at the front of the joystick. Chair doesn't really move if I'm doing 360. So I'm not, I'm not basically graduating to one side of the room or graduating to the other side of the room. It stays in place, which is, which is great. And you can kind of see the wheels here. They swivel, so I'll go one direction and the, the wheels will actually swivel. So let's just go ahead and do a quick recap because I know it's, it's already uh, about 22 minutes in and I appreciate watching so much thus far. So I've, I've made these just so we can kind of give an opportunity to actually pause the video if you want to write this stuff down instead of finding it on our website. Now, of course, give you another opportunity to actually go to the website. Great opportunity to pause, quickandmobile.com. There's the telephone number. And let's take a look here at the, uh, at the actual specs. Well, FDA approved and holds up to 400 pounds. It's 50 pounds without the batteries, 58 pounds with the batteries. The rear wheel, it's two, 12 inches by two inches, solid polyurethane rear wheels with enhanced traction, as I pointed out earlier on. Front wheel is seven by one and a half. And it basically does have the traction control as well. So that's great for inside and outside. And unfolded dimensions, 37 inches tall, 23 and, a, and three quarters at the widest point. And it's got a, a 31 and one half wheelbase. So basically from the back to the front, that wheel that's 31 31 inches and where were we over here okay so basically the wheelbase um, 39 inches long with the footrest uh, the folded dimensions of course it's 18 inches thick 30 and a half um, or 30 30 and half inches battery to ground and battery or ground to joystick top of the joystick is 36 inches and top of the cushion to the ground is 19 and three quarter of an inch. Um, and that's basically just a frame to the ground. 
and, and that would be the front. So you kind of see that that would be without the cushion, that's the frame. And I'll just give a quick example. The chair is ergonomic, so the front of the chair is going to be a little bit taller than the back of the chair, ergonomically designed. But we take a look here, top of the cushion is basically, uh, if we take, well, if we take the cushion off, the frame is 17 inches um, to the ground and the ergonomic armrest to the ground, the front of the armrest, 28 and a quarter, and the back of the armrest is 27 inches to the ground. So basically here you would be looking at 28 and a quarter and then here you'd be looking at 27 inches to the ground. So the design itself and where the chair folds, very carefully designed to be ergonomically comfortable. Some chairs aren't. A lot of the chairs are not FDA approved. You would be shocked. So the hinge to the actual top of the chair, that is going to be 18 and a half inches and the armrests themselves are 12 and a half inches long. Um, from the frame to the front of the armrest, that's 14 and a half inches. From the frame to the front of the joystick is 22 and a half inches. Joystick is six inches and you have, a, 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 I would say what, a one and a half inch gap between the actual joystick in the frame and from the frame itself to the joystick knob is 18 inches and when I talk about where the chair hinges 18 inches from here to here okay so we'll go back to the page factory space in between the armrest is 18 and a half inches with the spacers you can space it out to 22 inches Top of the seat cushion to the front of the footrest is 18 and three quarter inches. And I'm gonna to have to really quickly put the chair in uh, push mode or manual mode. So from the top of the actual, the front of the, the seat cushion to the front of the footrest, if I just put the tape measure there, that's the, the measurement that, that I'm referring to. And Factory space in between, okay, so footrest width is 13 inches, the length is 12 inches, and the protrusion from the frame is eight inches. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. For that's if, if the footrest was detached, that's 12 inches, but eight inches of it actually protrudes from the frame. So that's real important to understand. And then the in-frame batteries, okay, right there, so you've got 21.5 inches long, just under three inches wide, one, one inch thick. And you have, uh, they're 24 volt, six amperage hour, um, 144 watt hours each, and they are FAA approved lithium ion batteries. And of course the top of the battery, uh, that's a little bit different, uh, just over four and a half inches wide top of the battery, black part where the handle is, and you have just under two inches thick, okay? So, slightly different. Now, if we take a, a look at some of the features here, great opportunity just to click the pause. We went over all of this. Two 250 watt brushless electromagnetic motors, DuraShock system for re reduced energy transfer from ground to driver, one point or one through four mile per hour, variable speed, sensi touch joystick, reflective tissue or material on the front casters and the rear motors for enhanced visibility, high quality stainless steel nuts, bolts, and fasteners. This is really important, okay? So the nuts, bolts, and fasteners, I've, I've seen a lot of bargain basement type of deals on, on some of these websites. First and foremost, a lot of those websites, they, they give you like maybe four pictures. They don't have a telephone number. You have no idea whether they're U.S.-based or not. We are. We're a U.S.-based company. The chairs are stored in one of three warehouse locations right here in the United States of America. So they all ship from the United States of America, and all of the parts are stored in the United States of America. So where people skimp is they'll get low low quality batteries that's a, a big no-no and a lot of these companies here today gone tomorrow not us we've been around for a while and that's not good if you need to replace a battery and of course basically the fasteners companies save a lot of money by basically the the quality of metals that are used this is aircraft grade aluminum frame right here 
and that's a big deal. Um, a lot of the companies will use inferior quality metals, and if if they're not FAA or FDA approved devices, what do they care? It doesn't really matter. Does it? They they just you know as long as you get the chair saw, what if it breaks? There's no telephone number, and and maybe they'll maybe they'll answer the email. Maybe they won't. But they save a ton of money in the factories by basically using inferior quality metals. And then the consumer, the bargain basement type of shopper, what I what I want to call them, nothing against it. Every everybody likes a bargain. Everybody likes a deal. I do too. Um, but they think that they're saving money on getting a chair, and then they end up basically breaking the chair really quickly and, and possibly getting you know an ailment along the way and realizing that they're right back kind of where they started at square one. Um, they're without all that money, so that's a big setback. And if they even feel the courage to go ahead and get a quality chair, you know, it takes a while to save that money up. So that's just something to kind of to think about, to contemplate. Um, let's take a look. Basically, we do have a two-year warranty. First year is parts and labor. Second year is parts. And we have, of course, the headrest leg extensions are optional ergonomic design. So it can be used as a manual push chair and a power chair. And it's available in multiple colors, even though we've shown you blue and we've shown you silver with the eagle, silver, red, blue, magenta, neon green, and burnt orange. And you can find the pictures of all of those right on our website. And of course, see that box that's behind there? It's, you know, we give you a, another box of, of complimentary accessories. So we give you an additional halogen headlight with dual pitch horn and that sucker is real loud you can go on our website and we have a video with the horn being used in the video operating system or the section we give you a, a protective travel cover we give you a cup holder a car charger or inverter that lets you plug the the actual charger that we give you the international charger you can plug it right into the car through the inverter and we give you an arm bag real handy for storing stuff um, instead of charging you additional money for those flat free tires, that's a free factory upgrade that's included. We give you touch up paint and with, with most of the colors except specialty colors. Um, flip up adjustable armrests, that's an, another additional feature that we basically include directly from the factory. So they're not, they're not fixed. People really like that. We give you a, an orange safety flag. So. What a beautiful day it is, nice little thunderstorm, but the orange safety flag on the back of the chair makes it easier to see. And so the chair, even though the chair is not six feet tall with the flag, it is six feet tall or approximately six feet tall and an automatically opening umbrella with mounting bracket. So beautiful raining afternoon. You can be outside if you get stuck in the rainstorm with the chair with the umbrella again go to our website and you can see all of this stuff in the video operating section. And of course, uh, an oxygen tank holder, we give you that, that fits right on the back of the chair, can be used as a great storage bag, two year extended limited warranty and a weatherproof under seat basket, um, comes with the chair as well. It's normally $68, snaps off the chair, we give it to you, no additional cost and we give you the international household charger. So you, that'll, that'll basically handle a 110 or 220. Plugs right into the front of the joystick as I demonstrated. There's the pigtail attachment, comes with it. And we give you the tools to basically work on the chair, attach the headrest, uh, work with the armrest spacer kit, uh, basically anything that you would need to do with the chair. So we give you that little toolbox and if, if you have actually made it through this video, which is now about 34 minutes long, I thank you so much for watching our 2021 review of the Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair. If you have any additional questions, great opportunity to one last time pause the video. That's where to find us online. Thank you so much, and we hope you make it a great one. Good luck in your search, and we'll be happy to speak with you Monday through Friday.